Welcome to today's tutorial on DigitalOcean. Let's start with the convenience of setting up your own server with just one click. With DigitalOcean intuitive interface, deploying your server becomes breeze. But before we begin, if you haven't signed up for DigitalOcean yet, make sure to take advantage of the special discount offered through the link. You can see it in the content section. As you have already seen what is DigitalOcean, I have given you a complete overview of the platform. Now we are ready to utilize this platform and we'll be creating our first virtual machine, compute machine or first server. If you are using dedicated resource, of course, it will not be virtual machine. But when you are using virtual machine, which is shared resource available on DigitalOcean, depending upon your resource requirement, you will be choosing the server. So I'll be choosing this for the ERP Next installation and I'll be creating Ubuntu 22.04 in this particular tutorial. On the left side, you can see these are all the options which are available. So we'll be going here to droplet. You can start with four dollars per month and these are all the options which are available but i'll not be using from here i'll be simply going here to create and click on droplet the moment you go here on create and droplet you will see all the options which are available i need to make sure that latency is good so minimal latency is required so this is not about you this is about the end users for example if you are creating a web application that will be mainly used in united states and you are sitting in any other country so it will be good idea to choose the region which is closest to the users who will be using the application or the front end or the website these are the images operating system right now either you can use these or you can use the marketplace images so these are various images with pre-installed operating systems so for example if you want to install wordpress on ubuntu if you want to install Plesk on Ubuntu or Ubuntu desktop genome or Docker environment. These are all predefined and here you can explore all marketplace solutions. So these are various applications which are available. Uh, you can deploy it with a single click. So RabbitMQ is there. Odoo ERP is available. Grafana which is a great application for data visualization and Anaconda is there. And here even ERP Next is also available which is open source ERP. So it is using version 12.50 OS is Ubuntu 18.04. So we'll be going for the version 15.0. So this is not recommended right now. So I'll be going back to the control panel. From here, you can switch back to control panel and then we can create our own droplet. So I'll be clicking on create on top right and here I'll click on droplet and then I'll be using the shared resources. So it is fine. So by default, it is giving me the droplet. As I mentioned, I'll be choosing Bangalore and default network it is fine otherwise you can configure your own network ubuntu 22.04 you can see here it has given me premium amd i'll not be using premium i'll be using regular disk type will be ssd and here most importantly you have to see what type of option you want to go for as you can see right now this is default it is not available in the data center that we have selected and my requirement is also not 502 mb of ram minimum required ram for ERP next that I recommend is to go for the 2 GB of RAM and one CPU. So this is uh, the option that you are going to choose. And here I'll not be going for any backup. I'll not be going for any other additional volume. And here you will be choosing the authentication method, whether you want to use the password for the root. So you can choose the password for the root here, for example, and you can save this password to log into Ubuntu server. Through shell, you'll be able to access your server or you can use even the SSH key. So you can upload the SSH key if you have. Otherwise, you can create your own SSH key. I have provided the link in the description where you can understand how you can create the SSH key and the same SSH key can be added over here. Otherwise, if you are okay with the password, so I'll be creating the password here. You can give any password here. So minimum requirement is eight character long. So I'll be using add improved matrix monitoring for free. Add a very free managed database. I'll not be using managed database here. And this will be the ERP next tutorial. And then I'll type the tags here, for example, ERP next, Frappe, and for any application that you want to use this for, my project will be this. And here simply I'll create the droplet. Now you can see my droplet is being created. ERP next 2 GB, 50 GB disk, Ubuntu 22.04. It will take some time. We'll wait for this to complete. 
here you go you can see that the erp next tutorial this particular vm is right now ready and here you can mount more volumes also so let me see the details here 12 dollars per month i need to pay for this and here you can see it is enabled local ip address is this but public ip is available here so i'll copy this public ip now i can access this using any ssh client so i can use even putty so in putty the moment i type in this public ip i can open this and now i'll be able to access this here you go user id and password user id is root and password that you had set up so i'll be entering that now you can use this virtual machine for any purpose if you are installing any application any service that you want to run online on ubuntu 22.04 so you'll be using that so i'll be using erp next version 15 on this particular droplet continue to the installation section and see how we can start installing erp next if you have any questions or you want to see more tutorials like this, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for future updates.